Long summer days, they can bring heat and they can bring inconsistent rain, both creating challenges for what soil scientists say is the most important layer of our ground, the topsoil. Next weather meteorologist Joseph Dames learns how climate change could make it even tougher. A parched soil. Look at that, it blows away. Like this is the soil that has gotten really dried out and degraded. Vulnerable and susceptible to erosion as we've watched the drought bury roots into the Minnesota landscape. So even right now it's so dry that you know the roots are just coming right out of this. Jessica Gutkonecht, a soil ecologist with the University of Minnesota, explaining the importance of topsoil. A fraction of topsoil is the really precious, rich organic matter, nutrient rich, that's sustaining a lot of life above ground as well. It's sustaining our lives as society. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, topsoil that is short of moisture may stunt normal plant development, hurting agriculture that relies on that layer of the soil. And this summer, Minnesota hasn't had the type of rain to help out. So it's help on the way. Goo Connect explains the challenges that climate change may have. This kind of rhythm of a really wet spring and then this kind of who knows what we're going to get the rest of the summer, it causes many disruptions for farmers and it causes many disruptions for the soil. We have ongoing research right now where we are putting it to the test, essentially challenging it with climate change and seeing how it does. So a wetter treatment, a drier treatment, and then of course the weather this year is giving us the heat treatment. This is why Mitch Hunter, an agronomist with the University of Minnesota, is focusing on developing and improving perennial crops, that which can endure climate change. We are working on a whole new generation of crops, and the thing that these crops have in common is that they can help keep the soil covered all year round. So that's important when you're facing something like a drought or ongoing challenges from climate change in general, because keeping the soil covered with plants helps build the soil structure, build soil health, and make our soils more resilient. It's that partnership between soil and crops that both Jessica and Mitch believe is a way to help defend topsoil through future challenges from climate change. In St. Paul, Joseph Dames, WCCO News. Hunter says he's working with 15 crops that may help with soil health. This is through a program called the Forever Green Initiative. You can learn more about it at WCCO.com.